am preparing some herb infused water and I'm going to add a little bit of a dish soap and that will be the cleaner that I'm going to use tomorrow to clean the kitchen. It's very easy to make. It's an alternative if you don't want to use any essential oils. But if you like essential oils, I have some recipe down below in the description box. These are the herbs that I used to create that cleaner so I'm going to take it even further and create a garbage disposal cleaner with that. I'm going to start the cleaning that is given and that is the pot where I burned down the sausage a little bit and later in this video I will show you how I did clean my pot. I want to make them shiny again. Using this soap and plenty of water on a cooktop will remove any grease very effectively, more than any cleaners with the harmful chemicals. Think about the drinking glass. If you want to clean it with a cleaner from a spray bottle, it would be less clean than actually wash it with a dish soap and water. It's really fun to use some colors when I'm cooking, but also adding herbs and vegetables just will make it even more healthy. Many people think that home improvements, usually decorations and painting, buying new furniture. One relatively simple way to brighten up your space is to clean your windows. Dirty windows will block out light that will make the room appear more darker and less inviting.
Cleaning your window track regularly is better for your health because you stay top of the mud that accumulates in the gaps and it will work properly as well. One of the most efficient investment we bought for this kitchen for the everyday use to warm up things from the freezer and bake something for breakfast is this oven. It is the size that I can fit two baking casserole in there but smaller than the conventional oven. It heats up fast so we save energy, easier to clean because it's smaller. To remove stains I used magic eraser. To wash off my cabinet doors, I'm going to use the herb infused water. Dirt and grime wear down the finish on the cabinet doors. I clean it every season. Kitchen and bathroom requires special attention. Cleaning eliminates germs along with dirt and as a result, you will have a better air quality in your home. The first step to get a shiny stainless steel surface is to clean it with the all-purpose cleaner and in my case that's the herb infused water and then once it's clean I'm going to show you the next step. While it dries, I'm going to use some hydrogen peroxide on my cutting board. It's only 30 seconds and then I'm going to rinse it and I'm going to show you why I have this as a next step. This little detour with cleaning the cutting board is because I'm going to use the same paper towel with the oil on it 
to make the stainless steel more shiny but this is gonna be the order first I'm going to use it on the cutting board Then on the cast iron And now I'm finally back <laughs> to apply the fractionated coconut oil on the stainless steel appliances And I got some questions if it collects dust and it doesn't because I'm going to wipe off all the excess oil It works beautifully If you wanna have a nice shiny sink on the long term, make sure you don't use baking soda dry. Make sure to cream it up with something else. I use some dish soap and lots of water. And then adding some citric acid, it definitely foamed up nicely. So that way it won't damage the surface of the sink. These are the ice cubes that I prepared the previous night with the herbs and I'm just going to run through the garbage disposal to eliminate any bad odor. The kitchen floor is the hardest for me to keep up with and usually during the week I like to use the vacuum cleaner but for the edges sometimes I like to go into details with a broom. It is not recommended to put anything into the steam mop so that's why I use it separately also it would absorb the scent of the essential oil so it's even better if I just put it straight on the floor. This is just a quick summer project, it's really fun to do, you can do it with a real soap. I have some that I just only have to melt and I'm going to create a very cute watermelon with that and I have an essential oil that has actually the watermelon scent and I am going to use some chia seeds to make it more realistic. It 
actually it was cuter in my mind than it turned out but after all we are able to use it but I needed to do some adjusting also the coloring I think it wasn't vibrant enough at least for the green part I think if it would have been darker that would have been more realistic but I think the watermelon shape is still recognizable new day new project today i want to create kind of like a spice mix but it's made with vegetables we have this in hungary and probably in other parts of europe as well but it's basically just a mix of vegetables and we can just use it in soups and stews so first i'm going to dehydrate them this spice mix or vegetable mix is going to serve almost as like a vegetable broth it's gonna be a nice additional flavor to soups or any kind of stew and i can use that on some meat as well On hot days like that, I like to use the dehydrator outside. First, I like to rinse out all the crumbs and then I'm going to use this soft brush to remove the more stubborn spots. I am going to dry it on the sun but not for too long because plastic doesn't like sunshine, they age faster and they turn yellow so just a little bit just to sanitize it a little. These old utensils look so much nicer now. I'm going to wipe them dry and return them to its place. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!